you are a Star Wars fan, the Run Disney Dark Side Race Weekend at Walt Disney World Resort is a must-do on your bucket list. I'll admit, I signed up for the Run Disney Dark Side Challenge, which is a 10K Saturday and Half Marathon Sunday, because my husband is a Star Wars fan and wanted to do it. I have done lots of races in my career, and let me tell you, friends, this race surpassed all my expectations. All I can say was that this experience was so cool. Disney has the race weekend dialed. Everything was so smooth, from bib pickup to transportation to the start line to getting you lined up in your corral for the race start. Bib pickup started the Thursday before the race, and if you didn't pre-order your Star Wars merchandise, you want to make sure you get to the expo early to avoid disappointment. Some of the clothes you can buy are really popular, and sizes sell out quickly. The race is so big, with over 43,000 people participating from 52 countries in the 5K, 10K, and Half Marathon and Kids races, so the expo is actually located in three different buildings. This should be considered more of an experience than a race, and is perfect for everyone from new to experienced runners. Sure, there's hardly any elevation gain on the course, and you likely could run a PR, but why would you want to? This race is a unique experience to take pictures with your favorite characters from Star Wars. Darth Vader, Boba Fett, Captain Phasma, Kylo Ren. When else do you get that opportunity? Race morning, I always worry about finding a toilet and getting to the start on time. Disney has everything down to a science, from what time you have to arrive at the shuttle to arrive at the start on time, to the insane number of porta potties, the most I've ever seen at a race, P.S. Thank you, Disney, to what time you have to get to your corral. While the race starts at 5.30 a.m., they recommend you get to the start corrals at 5 a.m. to get settled and enjoy the pre-race show. If you're on a shuttle, expect to be at the park for 4 a.m. at the latest. The pre-race show was actually pretty cool, and the announcers were great at getting the crowd going. I also loved the fireworks for every wave start. There were over 17,000 people in the half marathon, and with waves starting every few minutes to move people through, it took about an hour from the start to get through to the last wave. The course takes you through a few of the Disney parks early in the morning before the gates are open, so you have the place to yourself. The race also takes you on the highway between the parks. Running down the highway is not as thrilling as going through the park, but run Disney staff make it really exciting by having stations to take pictures with characters, music playing on course, scene reenactments, and big screens with clips from various Star Wars movies. During the race, the course was really well marked. There were signs every mile, really well staffed and supported water stations with lots of porta potties on course, and I appreciated the the extra attention to detail, such as having verbal warnings when there was a sharp turn or speed bump, which meant the race is really accessible to everyone regardless of your ability. The race has a wheelchair division and lots of athletes with disabilities participated. Also, so many volunteers helped out. I've never seen such volunteer support in a race. The charity of choice this year was Make-A-Wish Foundation, and over $50,000 was raised for them through participants in a donation by Disney. The post-race atmosphere was awesome as well. Medals were super cool. You received an extra medal for participating in the Dark Side Challenge, as well as a Dark Side Challenge t-shirt. There were lots of food and water, photo opportunities, and a fun party atmosphere. Would I recommend this race to my friends? While the race comes with a hefty price tag, I would 100% recommend this race for the experience. Thank you so much Run Disney for this opportunity. We had a great time and check out the website for more information. I'm Caitlin for Get Out There Magazine. Hope to see you out there. This will not be tolerated. Until our base here is complete, We need a force on the ground ready to engage. You will be that force. If you make it through today's challenge.